Okay, today we're doing 9.7, which is product and quotients of complex numbers in polar form. As you see, we have up here on the board, we have a polar, complex number in a polar form, this is the first one, times another complex number in polar form. So we've labeled them sub ones and sub twos so you can see the difference between the first one and the second one. Now here's the formula. It's pretty simple. You multiply the uh, R's together out front and then inside we add theta 1 plus theta 2 here and here. And they're always the same so it's pretty much Whatever you do for cosine, you're going to do for sine. Now, the key to this is do not take cosine of these separately and then add. You must add these first. You must add theta 1 plus theta 2 first. Then take the cosine and sine. Okay, let's try an example. We'll go to the next page here. Let's say we have three cosine 7 pi over 6 plus I sine 7 pi over 6 times 2 cosine 2 pi over 3 plus I sine 2 pi over 3. Now, as we said, what we're going to do is use that formula on the last page that we just looked at. So we multiply the radi radius times radius, the radii, r's. Then we take the cosine of the sum of the thetas. So we got theta 1 plus theta 2. So we have 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 3. And of course we're going to do the same thing for the i sine. We're going to take 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 3. Now to add those, I'm going to do this over here on the side. We're going to change, we have to have the same denominators. Well, how about multiplying that fraction by 2 over 2? 2 pi over 3, that will make it 4 pi over 6. We have similar denominator or like denominators. Now we can add and get 11 pi over 6. So now we'll multiply in front. We have 6, and then we have cosine. 11 pi over 6 when we add these. So that goes in here. Plus I sine 11 pi over 6. Now to do that, we're going to use our special triangle since it has a denominator of 6. 6 goes into 180. 30 times, so that's a 30 degree angle. 11 pi over 6 puts us in the fourth quadrant. So here's our reference angle. That means this is a negative one since we're in the fourth quadrant. Y is negative. And our X is positive. That has to be squared to 3, and this has to be a 2. So now when we do, in the parentheses, the cosine, 11 pi over 6, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have square root of 3 over 2, and cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now we do the sine of 11 pi over 6 would be opposite over hypotenuse, negative 1 half. Remember the sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. Okay. Now, all we have to do now is distribute the 6 and we will be finished. So we have 6 square root of 3 over 2 plus, or excuse me, minus 1 half i, oh, sorry, that would be a 6 over, make that a little clean, cleaner, of course we can reduce those, 2 goes into 6 3 times, so our final answer is going to be this. And that's how you multiply two complex numbers in polar form. All right.
I'm going to write one up here for you to do. Pause your, uh, pause your screen or your video as soon as this is up here. Let's say you have this problem. We got 3 cosine pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3. And we're going to take that times 3 cosine 5 pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3. Let's change this, fix this. Not very good. All right. Now, pause your uh, video so you have a chance to work this because I'm going to start working it, but once you're finished, you can hit play again and see if you got the answer correct. Okay, first we multiply the R's, 3 times 3. And that's going to be times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2. This one will be easy to add since, easy to add since they're already over 3. Plus I sine pi over 3 plus pi, uh, 5 pi. Sorry, up here we miswrote that. That needs to be a 5 pi over 3 over 3. And now, let's go ahead and multiply here, and now we will have, remember you have to add first, cosine of 6 pi over 3 plus i sine 6 pi over 3. Well, that's going to be, a, once we reduce this, this is really going to be the cosine of 2 pi, isn't it? Plus i sine 2 pi. So let's check this out. Unit circle. 2 pi is the same as right here. This is 0 pi, but this is also 2 pi. And our ordered pair here on the unit circle is 1 comma 0. That's the point. So we've got right, you know, go right 1, 0. Uh, write one and stay there. Cosine is always x, sine is always y in this situation. So the cosine of 2 pi is 1. The cosine of, or excuse me, the sine is 0. So it looks like this time, distribute the 9, we're going to have 9 plus 0i. And that would be your final answer. Now that's written in uh, A plus B I form. Nine is correct also if you just wrote nine. All right, next example. Let's do division. Now you can probably guess what we're going to do. If in, in a product we multiply the R's, guess what we're going to do? So in this case, we're going to take r sub 1 divided by r sub 2. This is to divide two complex numbers. Times cosine of theta 1 minus theta 2 plus i sine theta 1 minus theta 2. Again, you must subtract before you simplify, or before you take the cosine or the sine. Well, let's do this problem right here. Let's say we have 12 cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. divided by 3 cosine 3 pi over 2 plus i sine 3 pi over 2. So if we use this formula up here for division, then we'll take 12 divided by 3 
and then we're going to subtract. So we got pi over 4, theta 1, minus 3 pi over 2, theta 2, plus i sine, same thing, pi over 4 minus 3 pi over 2. So let's go ahead and divide this. We will have a 4. When we subtract these, let's see what we get here. We've got uh, pi over 4, and we're going to double the other one again to make it over 4. So when we subtract these, I just took 2 times the top and bottom, doubled that to make it. So it's 2 over 2 times that, which is really multiplied by 1. 6 fourths the same as 3 halves. Now when we subtract these, we've got 1 pi minus a 6 pi. So we got negative 5 pi over 4. So we need the cosine, negative 5 pi over 4 here, plus i sine. We'll do this, negative 5 pi over 4. Of course, again, we've had to, we had to subtract first before we took the cosine. Well, where's 5 pi over 4? That would be in this quadrant. That's 1 and a fourth pi, which since this is pi, that takes us past the pi or 180, <coughs> excuse me, 45 degrees. Since we're dealing with pi over 4, your reference angle is there. And we know that this would be a negative square root of 2, and this would be a negative square root of 2, and, sorry, that is not correct. <laughs> Let's change this back. That's our hypotenuse. We'll have square root of 2 here, excuse me, and this would be negative 1 and negative 1. Well, sides of a 45-45 of a are 1, 1 square root of 2. So both of our sides are negative 1. So that means both of our sine and cosine, in this case, will both be negative. Hmm. Okay. Since we're in the fourth quad or second, excuse me, third quadrant. So here we go. Cosine of that would be one over square root of two, negative one over square root of two, which is really this. We do this all the time, and then we're going to have another negative or minus square root of two over two i when we do sine. And again, since we uh, have a four times this, we'll distribute. I'm just going to ahead and do this real quickly. I think you're capable of this. 4 times the first one, 2 into 4 goes twice, so this is going to be negative 2 square root of 2 minus this a little better, minus 2 square root of 2 i, and now we have that final answer. Let's have you try one using this formula. Go to the next page. And then as soon as I write it, you can pause your video so you'll have time to work it. And then you can watch me work it and see if you got it right. All right, first, let's see, this will have six cosine pi over two plus i sine pi over 2 divided by two cosine pi over 3 i plus i sine pi over 3. All right, pause your video, work this one, and then in a second when you're ready, you go ahead and put, uh, hit play and then you'll see how I did it and see if you got it right. Okay, since we're dividing, we divide the R's, subtract the thetas. So we'll have cosine 
pi over 2 theta sub 1 minus pi over 3 plus pi sine pi over 2 minus pi over 3. Now to subtract these, <coughs> excuse me, another way I've taught you to do this, I gave you this formula where a over b minus c over d, and they're not alike, is you can take pi times 3, which is 3 pi, minus 2 times pi, which is 2 pi, all over 2 times 3, which is 6, 3 pi minus 2 pi is pi, 1 pi over 6. So that means, or you could multiply the first fraction by 3 and the second one by 2, and you'd have 3 pi over 6 minus 2 pi over 6. All right, so now we have 3, if we divide that, cosine of pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. And again, we have a special triangle. So in this case, 6 tells us we've got a 30 degree angle in the first quadrant. Pi over 6 is in the first, so that's in this quadrant. 30 is our reference angle. So that means this is a 1, 2, and a square root of 3. Okay. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that will be the square root of 3 over 2 plus sine is 1 over excuse me, opposite over hypotenuse, one-half. And that, don't forget your i, that's another common mistake here. And once we distribute the three, we will be finished. And we have, can't simplify these, so, three square root of three over two plus three halves i. If you got that right, you know what you're doing. By the way, if you're in my class, you get two bonus points for each one of those, and you're on the honor system. I'll assume that you're telling the truth. And that's how you multiply and divide complex numbers in polar form.